Salute to hoops guys, welcome back. Another day, another video. Salute Sunday did not happen yesterday, I apologize, and that is because work got a little crazy, so I was not able to, to make a video, but as you can see today we got the laptop out, and so we're it's going to be a little bit of a different video. We're not, uh, we're not ripping anything today, but our next video we definitely are. As promised in my last video, I'm doing... Uh, another video on um who else i'm collecting as far as who i'm investing in excuse me as far as ricky cards go so we're just going to jump right into it before we do like and subscribe uh i ran a giveaway on my instagram uh this past week so i'm up to 45 follower uh, excuse me subscribers on here so it's going up slowly but surely so uh keep them coming in and i'll keep the videos coming out so Let's jump right into it. So we're going to go over the first rookie card that I'm investing in right now. We're going to open this up here. So our first guy is going to be Mitchell Robinson. We have a Prism rookie card right here of him. And I got a few. I got a lot of his cards here, but I'm just, I just got one of each player. So just to make things kind of, kind of clean and simple here. So if you don't know Mitchell Robinson, he's a center. He plays for the... Uh, Knicks, unfortunately, uh, he was drafted by them in the second round of the 2018 NBA draft. And he is quietly becoming a monster. So if you didn't know, he uh, broke the all-time field goal percentage uh, for the New York Knicks in this short season that they had. Uh, he's, for some reason, plays backup center right now uh, to Taj Gibson, and I, I don't know why. Uh, because he's definitely better than Taj Gibson pretty much in every aspect of the game. Uh, but then again, it, it is the New York Knicks, so uh, anything is questionable here. So, Mitchell Robinson, he pretty much plays both ends of the, of the court. If we can go over his stats here a little bit. Rookie year, he averaged 7.3 points per game um, at 20 minutes per game, so... It jumped up to just 23 minutes per game his second year. Uh, so he hasn't really... I mean, he's been seeing some some game time, but, I mean, not enough to uh, warrant a huge outbreak. However, he's developing pretty much in every aspect. Uh, he jumped up to almost 10 points per game, 7 rebounds a game, and uh, 2 blocks per game. So he's definitely a, a defensive beast. If you've seen him, the guy's pretty agile, definitely athletic, and... Uh, in my opinion, he's definitely going to be the future. I don't know about the New York Knicks, but he's definitely a center that you want on your team. No doubt about that. And if you look at his eBay comps, we're going to jump over here real quick. So everything's going to be based off of rookie prisms. And as you can see, uh, his card is about 10 bucks a piece already, uh, which is pretty solid. I've if you can if you got the time you can be on ebay and you can catch some good deals like i have uh but that's pretty good for a guy that is only averaging not you know an amazing amount of points or anything but it shows the potential that people are seeing in him so 10 bucks uh for the mitchell robinson rookie card on a good day though you could find a lot like a huge lot of them for maybe you know four bucks five bucks a piece uh, in which case, I would definitely hop on that one for sure, uh, just for investment purposes. So our next player, we're going to go over, also a big man, for the Chicago Bulls. We got Daniel Gafford. Now, this is probably the cheapest rookie card out of all of them that I'm going to be talking about today. Uh, and this is because Daniel Gafford really also had a quiet season. But if you're a Bulls fan and you watch the video, or sorry, watch the games this year, the little amount that we had... Uh, Mitchell Robinson is definitely a beast in the making. He was also drafted in the second round by the Chicago Bulls uh, of this year's draft, so 2019. Um, and as you can see, wasn't getting too many points or minutes per game, only averaging 14 a game uh, with five points and uh, only 2.5 rebounds. So definitely a, uh, a higher risk on Daniel Gafford, but if you've seen him play, he reminds me more of a uh, a more athletic Taj Gibson. Now, if he can keep that that up uh, as far as his production goes, 
with uh, the front office changes that the Chicago Bulls are making, uh, we got to get rid of Jim Boylan. But when we do, I really believe that Daniel Gafford is going to be a player, like I said, really similar to Taj Gibson in his in the way he plays plays both ends of the court, just like Mitchell Robinson does. Extremely athletic, uh, can shoot the the mid range, and um, definitely block shots. I believe he scored uh, twenty one points. Per- 21 points and uh, blocked Giannis in his first like real NBA debut where he was getting some real NBA minutes. Um, so another guy to look out for, like I said, Daniel Gafford. Kind of a low key, but like I said, low risk. Uh, def- sorry, high risk, high reward. But he, the good thing is that he's not selling currently for that much. As you can see, uh, his rookie prism card you can get for you know about a dollar. I've gotten some really good deals on lots too, uh, so I've just been kind of loading up on him. So if you're looking for uh, a low cost player um, at a low risk as far as your bank account goes, I definitely would keep an eye out for the Daniel Gaffords for sure. Now the next player we're gonna go over is a in the Western Conference here, so let's get back to our other tab here and that's going to be Anthony Simons point guard slash shooting guard for the excuse me um, had a brain fart for the Portland Trailblazers this will be his car right here I don't think I have any prisms of him so you'll have to deal with the optic shock for right now um, now if you are familiar with Anthony Simons he was actually drafted straight out of high school um, he took post-grad classes in high school, so he was actually eligible for the NBA uh, at 19 years old. So he's super young right now. He's 21. Um, listed at shooting guard, but he's 6'3". So he, in my opinion, he's more of a point guard than anything, if, especially if you've seen him play. Um, definitely has an amazing scoring ability. Very athletic. Can definitely score. I mean, he's a scoring point guard for sure, scoring scoring guard in general. Um I think his major issue is his defense. Uh, he is a smaller guy, uh, and he's also stuck behind uh, Damian Lillard. I mean, Portland's got a bunch of talent on it, talent on it already with C.J. McCollum and Damian Lillard, so there's not a lot of room for Simmons to at least you know, grow and be on the court in an actual game. But uh, if you watch, I watched a few videos on him. He's got extremely amazing work ethic, and... As you can see here, his stats jumped up. His first year, he's only getting seven minutes a game. He averaged almost four points per game. Uh, however, uh, <clears throat> in the short season that we did have this year, he jumped up to 20, 21 uh, minutes per game and almost nine points per game, one and a half steals per game. So definitely uh, de- definitely developing, and that's what you want to see with these young guys uh, when you invest in them. So let's switch over to... The eBay comps here and his rookie cards are selling, not for extremely high, but uh, they're getting up there. As you can see, this Prism rookie card uh, sells for about seven bucks. Uh, I would say the average is about five to seven, uh, but there's definitely people out there noticing uh, the potential that he has. See here, you go five bucks here, uh, but a lot of his other cards are cheaper. Uh, you got the NBA hoops, Anthony Simons for a dollar sixty-five. Uh, I've been, I haven't been able to get too many of his op- or it's not optics um, prisms, but uh, I did come up on a a nice little lot last night on on eBay of them. But his optics, optic shocks, and just uh, rated rookie optics, and even the Donruss rated rookies uh, are, in my opinion, a solid investment too because those are. Those cards are always going to hold their value as far as, as as these players go. I mean, Prism's obviously kind of the the peak base, but Optic is always going to be good. Here's his regular uh, base rated rookie, non-Optic for about 3 bucks. So definitely, definitely a guy that I'm investing in. I think that if he can get some more playing time, I really think that Portland's going to be making some changes here in the near future, and I think that whatever those changes may be, whether Simmons is 
still on Portland or if Portland gets rid of McCollum or Damian Lillard, I think he's going to end up thriving regardless. But then again, that's just my opinion. So moving on to our fourth player here, and the cat's already out of the bag on him. We have Bam Adebayo. Now, Bam Adebayo was also drafted in the second round, the 2017 NBA draft, and was kind of, I mean, he was kind of unknown on the Miami Heat for his first two seasons, uh, but as you can see in his third season, and if you have, if you were watching basketball, you noticed him too, uh, he pretty much broke out in Miami. I believe he was... Uh, I don't know if he got voted to the all-star team I think he might have if I'm not mistaken or he was on the verge of being voted for it so uh he averages 16 16 a game and 10 rebounds a game and also I mean one block per game if you've seen if you've seen it bam at a bio play excuse me I'm fumbling over my words the guy is pretty much a monster on both ends of the court uh I believe that we might be talking about Mitchell Robinson like we are Bam Adebayo right now in the next maybe two, uh, one or two years uh, if he continues to, to develop. So, again, just my opinion. But uh, Bam Adebayo is only 22 years old. So it's going to be kind of crazy to see what he develops into. I mean, the guy's not even in his prime yet. So and he's averaging a double-double. <sighs> Pretty crazy stuff. Now, if you can get a a hold of his rookie cards as you can see they are already pretty up there at least for the average investor and you're looking at 27 bucks one sold for 24 bucks uh, i've gotten my hands on a few bam Adebayo rookies for sure uh, when they were cheap uh, but uh they're kind of almost getting out of the realm of of the average investor like myself so this is going to be bam Adebayo's second year card uh, which, as we know, once rookie cards start getting getting out of the realm of people being able to afford them, I mean, 27 bucks isn't too bad, but I'm really not one to spend 27 bucks on just one card. So, second year cards are always uh, another option, and I've been pretty much hoarding these second second uh, second year cards of Bam Adebayo. If I can get my hands on rookie cards of him for sure, uh, for at least somewhat cheap, I will. But you can get these Bam Adebayo second year cards for, you know, a little over a dollar, which I think is uh, definitely a good investment, at least in my opinion. Just with how he's going to develop, I mean, he's going to be around for a long time. So that's kind of my my uh, two cents on it. Now the third or our my fifth guy that I kind of just did a runner up of. Uh, just because I'm a Bulls fan and I feel like he doesn't get a lot of respect uh, just with the way the Bulls have been ran as of late. So my fifth guy, runner-up, is going to be Laurie Markin and Ricky Cards. Uh, and that just goes back to me, number one, being a Bulls fan, but number two, uh, the front office changes that uh, the Chicago Bulls are making I really think that Laurie Markkinen is going to uh, thrive in them with the changes. And I don't know if it's going to be right away because Jim Boylan's still kind of up in the air. But, I mean, as you can see, Laurie Markkinen is still putting up numbers. I mean, he averaged 15. People forget about him because he's been stuck in Chicago, obviously. And we, we've we been kind of a, on a, down, a downhill course for a little while. But, I mean, his rookie year, he averaged 15 a game. <clears throat> with a, uh, you know, four, uh, excuse me, the field goal, there we go, field goal percentage, uh, 0.43. So uh, his sophomore season, he averaged almost 20 points per game, yet Laurie Markkinen is not being being talked about at all by anyone. And like I said, that just kind of goes back to the Bulls being the Bulls. But mark my words, if the Bulls can actually get their shit together, excuse my language, but they need to get their shit together, uh, which they've shown they are, had fr uh, front office changes and things like that. If they can get their stuff together and get some more players on Chicago, uh, Laurie Markkinen is going to be a guy that we're talking about, like Christoph Porzingis. I mean, he shows all the signs of it. He can shoot. Uh, 
I mean, he's what, seven feet two, can shoot from pretty much anywhere on the court. You can put the ball on the floor. Uh, there were some issues with his defense, I'll say that. But like I said, I think if the Bulls can get their shit together and get get him some help and, you know, get him the coaching and and all that stuff, I really think that there's way more, still more time for him to, to develop. He's also only 22 years old. So uh, there's plenty of room. I w- you can't, you just can't really count Laurie Markinen out at all. And I think that, like I said, once we see a real, a full season and, uh, you know, the front office changes are kind of solidified, I think that we're going to be seeing a lot more of Laurie Markinen. Let's take a look at his rookie cards. If we can scroll down here, this was kind of spur of the moment, so I didn't have it already um, already up. But his Prism Rookie sells for about 5 bucks um, on average. These Rated Rookies, as you can see, they are not bad at all. 3 bucks a pop. I think I got a lot of his last night of Rated Rookies for, I think it was 12 for, I think, $7. So he's definitely flying low under the radar, and... Those are the type of guys to grab before they explode. Uh, and as you can see by his stats, uh, Lori Markin is definitely not going to get worse anytime soon. So, like I said, these are just my opinions, my thoughts, but uh, these are all guys that are still fairly cheap. They're all super young and have a super high ceiling, which is exactly what you want when you're investing in, in some players like this. So, uh, just my, like I said, just my opinion. You don't have to listen to me. I'm just letting you guys know who I myself am investing in. Um, coupled with, uh, the guys I spoke about before in the first investment video, I'm still investing in Dante DiVincenzo as well as, uh, Devante Grahams too. So with that being said, I cannot wait for the NBA season to start, starting in a couple days here, uh, because life without basketball you know, what? what is life, to be honest with you, without basketball? I can't tell you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A uh, little different, like I said, we didn't rip anything, but I really like to share uh, some knowledge with you guys, and I think that there's a lot of knowledge to go around in the hobby, and I just try to do my part uh, with the amount that I know. So I'll have a new video for you guys coming up at the end of the week. And that's going to be it. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Thanks.